Hi and welcome to our tutorial on Google's custom search engine. Today I'd like to show you how you can set up a search engine that allows you to determine which websites are actually looked at and pulled up for research. This is a great tool for you to use as a teacher because it enables you to decide what sites are appropriate for your students uh, rather than just doing a basic Google search which looks at every site on the web. Let's get started. Let's show you how to do this. So I've gone to google.com slash CSE and I've logged in. There are a couple different ways that you can set up your own custom search engine. One way is to click on the left hand side of the menu and you'll see an option for a new search engine. You can also click the add button here if you want to add a new search engine. Let's go ahead and click on new search engine over here on the left. The first thing it asks you for is to list the first site that you want to include as part of your custom search. Let's say I'm going to do a project on the solar system right now, so I want the kids to go to nasa.gov. You can see as I put in that website, it immediately prompts me to add an additional website. Um, you can put in as many websites as you'd like. Uh, maybe I'll also put in discovery.com. That's a great science and space related website. So as I keep putting in these sites, you can see that it just keeps increasing the size of my list of the different search engine sites that will be permitted as part of this. Students will only get information when they conduct their Google searches from the websites that I list. So nasa.gov and discovery.com right now. Now by default, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see that your site is named based upon the first website that you pick. If you don't want a website as the name of your search engine, you can change the name just by going a little bit lower underneath the name header and click change the name. So now I can put in solar system as the name of my custom search. This search engine is all ready to go, so I can click Create, and I've set up my custom search engine. There are some different ways that you can use this. You can actually embed this on your website. Uh, let's put a little Google code search up in your corner of your website, and people can type right on your website and do the search. Um, you can also have your own web, a, a unique web address, uh, or a public URL where you can share your search engine with your students. If you need to modify any of your search engine, you can see I can click here on Control Panel. And that brings me back to where I can edit, put in more sites, delete sites. Again, I can always get the public URL, and that gives me the link that I can share with my students. When my search engine is ready to go, this is where the kids will go in and type in what they're looking for. So let's say they're looking for planets. As they conduct their search, you can see all of the sites listed are part of my custom search engine. This is a great way for you to be able to uh, filter out unwanted sites and also keep your kids on appropriate websites as they conduct their research. I hope this has been helpful for you and I hope you use a custom search engine in your next project. Thanks for watching.